All right, let's do some hamstring curls. This is a great way to strengthen the uh, hamstrings and loosen our knee joints. And there is a modification for anybody that would like to sit down to do this, because when we do them one leg at a time, we will be standing on one leg. So if you'd like to sit for this one, I'm gonna show you quickly first the modification. You can do them seated, and you're gonna simply bring your heel underneath the chair, pull it up as far as you can. We're exercising that knee joint, stretching the quadricep, and flexing the hamstring as the heel comes under. If you're comfortable doing these standing, First thing we want to do is stand tall. Let's pull up on our standing limb. Let's start with the right leg. So left leg is standing. It's going to be straight and tall. Think of bringing your heel to your backside. And the other thing to think about is we're going to keep our thighs nice and still. So we don't want any movement from the hip. We want to hold that leg still. All the movement is in the knee joint. Pretty simple movement. So here, let's, let's go ahead and do a few. Bring in our heel straight up, nice and tall, pulling up on our standing leg. We don't want to sink down. Good. Let's do some calf raises. So we're going to move into that ready position. And again, that ready position is basically with our feet apart, feet under our hips, just so you're comfortable. And for the calf raises, we're going to push off <clears throat> excuse me, the ball of the foot. And we do want to hold on. This is another one where we want to keep our heads up tall. And as we push away from the floor, we're going to lift our heels and lower back down. So push up and come back down. Just a simple movement. But boy, are we getting a lot of goodie out of this. Pretend like your big toe is a pencil. And you're trying to draw an imaginary circle there were a piece of paper there. If that big toe were a pencil, can you draw a nice big round circle? So let's get about five in each direction. Let's take it around. Try to make a big, complete circle all the way around. Two, three, four, and five. We call side legs our hips. We hear a lot about hips getting tight and losing their range of motion. Who likes to line dance? I like to line it. Well, I know there's still a lot of dancers in here. Yeah. Yeah. So the point is, we need to be able to move laterally, you know, side to side. We don't want to go. We don't want to just be able to move forward. We need to be comfortable back and forth. We need to keep our hips happy, going in all directions. So good range of motion for our hips is huge. So this one's called side legs. So. We want to stand, and this also helps balance. So we want to stand tall, hold our chair, and we're going to do about a three second hold, leading with the outside of the foot. So the ankle is leading as opposed to pointing your toes. So the ankle leads the way, two, three, bring it in. Make sure you're good and stable, standing tall, and let's go to the other side. One, two, 